Welcome home. We are WNST, Towson of Baltimore and Baltimore Positive. We are positively getting the Maryland Crab Cake Tour back out on the road on August the 13th. Sounds like a long time from now. I assure you it's not. It's just, I think it's one fake football game away, but it's look, it's probably about 20 baseball games away. But when we get there, when we get to State Fair in Catonsville, we will have the Gold Rush Sevens Doublers to give away, as we have uh, all summer long. Uh, we're ramping things up into August. We back down at Fadley's when the Cheats Throws come to town a little later on in the month. Luke is uh, has all things covered from the uh, Ravens this week out in Owings Mills, as well as the Padres in town all weekend long. Also, our friends at Jiffy Lube Multi Care powering that up, as well as Liberty Pure Solutions. And I do want to give a shout out to Doug Workman and our friends at Liberty Pure, not just keeping my water in my orange colored glass uh, crystal clear and delicious. Issues, but also had a plumbing issue. I had like a leaky thingy sort of corroded pipe thing from a long time ago. Uh, and he sent his crack crew over here in one hour. All done. And we're uh, working perfectly. John Martin is working perfectly as the executive director of all things Maryland Lottery and Gaming. Uh, as uh, we get into the uh, heat of the summer, football season coming. We're going to have a Ravens promotion around the corner. Home Run Riches is rocking. I know we had million-dollar winners this week. John, how are you? What's going on out there in, uh, in Maryland Lottery land? You know, I'm doing well, uh, uh, Nestor, although I just caught myself in the monitor. Black is not a good color for me. I, I've just determined that. I, ne I need to go back to the wardrobe department. It it just makes the gray and the white. I, I look like an old man. It's talking summer. The it's summer, man. It's probably black. I'm wearing a black <sighs> shirt. You're wearing a black shirt. It's not like it's 92 degrees outside or anything, right? It's a comfortable 71, 72 here in my office. You know, I was talking this week, uh, I had Todd Radom on, and he is uh, a guy who designs logos. He's designed Super Bowl logos. And so I had him on about those, those all-star uniforms we talked about last week. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I, I broke out my Tony Gwynn throwback, and it is made of that light material that you want. So if you get a black shirt like yours, it has to breathe like a gamer does on a Friday night when the Orioles are oh, wearing it. Oh, it breathes. It breathes. It's not the color. Right. It's, it's, it's not the, the material. It's the color. It's just accentuates my my uh, starch it, white. It makes that red beard. lottery logo pop off of there, just like when I'm at Royal Farms and there's a big jackpot and Mega Millions or Powerball. You know, hey, nicely done there. You teed that one up. I can't not take a swing at it. This week, as we speak, they're in those three-digit categories that I know the Aparicio family loves to see. Well, it always looks so empty when millions. I pull up and that one digit's not filled out. You know what I mean? We got we got triple digits on both Mega and Powerball, uh, so please, please, please play responsibly. Have some fun with it, and uh, hopefully, well, you know, I the the big checks are getting dusty here in in my in my warehouse. The, Somebody's the not claiming have, money. What what happened? Well, I mean, you know, for the for the Mega Millions and the Powerball, all those those are special checks, and they are uh, we haven't had one of those in a long time. Yeah, I feel jinxy. It feels like it's been a long time since I've had that big glow where you call all the other lottery directors and say, I gave the billion dollar check out. Like, uh, like we did it. We mentioned Lona Coning all the time, which also the home of Lefty Grove. You can go up there and, and, and see some real baseball history right here, uh, in the, in the Maryland soil out in Western Maryland. But, um, you know, giving big checks away, I, like for my wife, you talk about her playing Mega Millions or whatever. But when I see James Kennedy's emails hit my email inbox every week before you come on, I'm always looking to see, did anybody win a million this week? And there are a lot more million dollar winners than you think. And sometimes they don't come and even claim their prize, which is crazy. Well, yeah, <laughs> that is really crazy. And then sometimes they uh, uh, they, they they come in and uh, and it is it is a fun time. Um we had a recent winner uh, come in. Actually, it was uh, two gentlemen who uh, happened to be um, uh, uh, co-workers, and uh, they were out uh, starting their day, uh, went to get their morning coffee, a couple donuts, you know, nothing Nothing says construction worker like donuts and coffee. Well, Nestor, and also we're splitting a lottery ticket. That feels like a that feels like a, a thing from a cop movie. You know what I mean? Buddies well, yeah. out, right? You know, right. Exactly, exactly. And so these two guys get their tickets. They they uh, they sit in the car. It's the twenty dollar one hundred times the cash scratch off. The one guy uh, scratches his ticket and and got nothing, nothing. Um, no, he got a second chance. Come on now. He's got a second chance. That's correct. Uh -huh. But he looks over to his partner 
And as the quote goes, his partner says, um, he's looking ghost white. And the first guy says, did we win a million dollars? And the guy kind of stammers and stutters, yeah. And so <laughs> we have a million dollar winner right there in the parking lot of uh, of Sheets out there in Frederick. So they come in to claim, and you know, a lot of times people like to use their 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 real name. They they hide behind a check. They wear the feather boa and the funny hats or whatever. So he, so this will appeal to some some of our fans out there. He uses the name Mister Papa Giorgio. I've heard that in Las Vegas. Uh, I you know I may have used that in Las Vegas so from time yes. to time. Yes, yes. So if you go to mdlottery.com, <laughs> you'll see this guy with his top hat hiding It's amazing how sign. many of us have seen the vacation movies, right? Like when it, when oh, it comes down to it, classics, right? Classics. Classics. Um, all of them. One better than the other. But Mr. Papa Giorgio, in fact, holding a million-dollar check. That's that's a lot of fun. So we have fun every day when people come in to, to uh, uh, claim their prizes, whether it be on scratch-offs, uh, Powerball, Mega Millions, Fast Play, whatever. We had another great story here that I just have to share with you. It has to do with a uh, second chance contest. Uh, you talked about saving a ticket. Uh, the other Papa year, Giorgio had an opportunity for that, right? Papa yes. Giorgio too, right? Exactly. Okay. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So um, we had our multiplier family of uh, uh, scratch off tickets earlier this year. And part of that was a second chance contest. And top prize was $75,000 in the second chance contest. And so we had a, uh, a lovely woman who won that prize from Catonsville by the name of Barbara Janowiak. The great part of this story is, are you sitting down, Esther? Are you ready for this one? She was a former employee of Montgomery Ward's warehouse. So she had to come home to get the checks, what you're telling me. She came home. Uh... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the lottery headquarters is in the old Montgomery Wards building, Southwest Baltimore, right next to one of our great sponsors at Carroll Park and uh, uh, Classic Five Golf and, uh, you know, Southwest Baltimore. And uh, my former uh, uh, producer and longtime intern, Ray Bachman of Pigtown. Um, so sort of South Pigtown is what I would call uh, the, the Montgomery Wards building. Does it have an official name? Is it Carroll Park is the name of the area? Uh, Carroll Park is the area. Our building is the Montgomery uh, Park Business Center. Uh, it's at least 100 years old, that building, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I but mean, it's it majestic. It re- yep. It's this, it's this right. glorious old school built like they used to be built kind of buildings. And I mean, you can act, look, you can see it. It's right here. It's the white building on the screen right over my, my finger. How about that, right? There you go. There, there you, you go. go. You right. are there. You know, the great part of this story, not only is she coming home to win her prize, as happens, and you and I have joked about this before, she gets the call from Doug and does not believe it. What percentage? Maybe I should ask Doug that question. A lot. <laughs> A lot. So, so, but again, put in perspective, second chance contest. More or think, less right, than Ted whatever. Williams 406. Uh, <laughs> we, had, we had 18 million entries. So, sure, her, her odds were 1 in 18 million that she would win. A $75,000 prize. So sure you forget about it. So Doug calls. She doesn't believe it. She shows up with her entire family uh, just to make sure that mom wasn't getting scammed in the in the in the process here a great family lots of fun took a lot of pictures uh go to mdlottery.com i hope they get some fun with the money story. i'm thinking about like what that oh, means yeah. to you know to somebody so how so she worked at montgomery wards right in the building Yep, when was the yep. last time it was a Montgomery Wards? Can I just ask oh, that? I, I have no, I have no idea. Thirty-five, uh, forty, like it's, I, yeah, I don't. Been a while. I went there when I was a little boy. I, I did. I remember we, we literally we bought a range there when I was a kid. Um, but I was only in that building one time. And every time I pull up and see you and Roz and Doug, and I come in give these to get these away, I think of that first time you're there. You know, so it is a special play. I can't imagine if you worked there. I'd be, I'd be off. It's a great story. I got another great story because again we so we get so focused on on these big prizes and the big second chances, but we also have an ongoing effort with our My Lottery Rewards loyalty program. Various prizes come up throughout the year that people can put their name in the in the virtual hopper and get selected. Anthony Casort the second did that uh, recently and wins a trip to Marco Island. How cool is that, Florida? Uh, well, yeah. It's yeah, I hope Marco he takes Island, it in February or Illinois. March. Illinois. Take in February, March, sir. Uh, or, well, yes. he gets four days, three nights at the Marriott Marco Island Beach Resort. 
uh, breakfast daily, a round of golf or a spa treatment, either or, and a round trip airfare for himself and a guest. So how about Did he get that? dinner? Does he get dinner or no? We don't know. Uh, no. What are no. the grouper? Just get. The, I, I'm yeah. just giving advice. If you're down, if you get the grouper when you're in Florida. It's delicious. Exactly. Fresh. Exactly. So you know those are those are fun stories to uh, to relate. I mean, you, you go to md.lottery.com, you see real people, people like you and I. Well, maybe not like me because I can't win. Um, but people who are Marylanders who who enjoy it, have some fun, play responsibly, and uh, and we wish them well on their on their uh, their their winning ways and uh hopefully we need more we'll home run more. riches that was my complaint for you today i've oh. talked so much baseball this week you know traditionally we did sports around here john now we are bringing uh a prince george's county uh executive angela also brooks who is running for senate uh i'll be giving away the gold rush seven doublers so we do a little bit of politics and a little bit of business we've done stuff but i've done just like a lot of baseball and a lot of um a, a lot of trading deadline this week in first place and the ravens are back out on the field but we need more home runs and home run riches that was my complaint to you today now that i have you in the middle of this uh, to date, as we speak, uh, which is prior to when people are listening, there were 152 home runs hit year to date by the O's. Uh, five of those grand slams. Our prize package so far, $150,000 plus. Uh, and our current progressive jackpot uh, coming close to $75,000, which means when you buy home run riches, Bases loaded, fast play game at one of the 4,300 retailers around the state of Maryland. And uh, you can enter the, that uh, special code on that ticket into the um, uh, chance to beat the contest of the game. Coming up in July, you know, we've got the Padres coming in. And we are going to have on Friday, Hyacinth Anya. I'm sorry. Hi- wow. That's I'm okay. We'll get it up. right. We'll try it again. Hyacinth Anya. Okay. From Tacoma Park is our Friday uh, contestant, Andrew Fowler of Martinsburg, West Virginia. You know, I've never been there. We probably own the town. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Well, there are probably some pirates people there, too, that they got skeins. But, yeah, I hear no, no, you. No, no, Martinsburg. Oh, John, Mar- John Martin from the Maryland Lottery, executive director, is our guest on the program right now. That's that's a good point. Martin. Yeah. Okay. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I, I, should, I should check it out. And then on Sunday, Bradley Kent. From Cambridge, or is it Bradley Cambridge from Kent? I don't, I don't know. I think it's Bradley Kent from Cambridge, Maryland. So those three lucky folks are uh, you know, getting their swings in in the batting cage, getting ready. They've all won $500 just being selected contestant of the game and should. And, and they when. don't believe it when they get called, right? <laughs> oh, I think they believe $500. I, th- I, I think the believability factor is, is a correlation to the dollar amount. Okay, fair enough. I won how yeah. much? Right. Yeah, yeah. 500 bucks here. Okay, fine. Send it. Uh, 75,000? Hmm, wait a minute. A million? Whoa, stop. Yeah, who is this, really? So, yeah, Doug deals with all of that. That may be in the show in and of itself. Doug Lloyd's greatest hits. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Hey, you know who else had a good time this week? Who had a good time this week? Our person who, uh, our people who get involved with the Team USA, um, Second chance promotion. Well, this is what I'm going to say. Last week, I went crazy on second chance. You just said progressive, which is second chance, right? Uh, Or or, or a chance to another way to win is what I would say. There's no game you play, no scratch off I give away. That's a one and done ever in that sort of a mentality that my wife has with the app and where we are and my lot of rewards and all the things we talk about in that way. But this is how you get to go to. Milano for the Olympics, right? Everybody's all Olympic up here. I got friends over in Paris this week. Now I want to go to Milan like you, like your winners are. Well, the uh, the contest, go to mdlottery.com, as if you buy a Mega Millions ticket and the window is still open. You enter that into the drawing, as Cheryl Harrow did from Baltimore, Maryland. She was our first prize winner earlier in the month of July. But we added to that our second member of the, the, the winning delegation, Lisa Keeney. And here's a riddle for you. Daubs, Maryland. I've never heard of that. D-O-U-B-S. D-O-U-B-S. I'm going to look that up, Dobbs. Okay. I want to see Does if I've been sound? there. Because I have been to Martinsville, uh, West Virginia. Martinsburg. 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 I, I have been there, yes. I have been well, there. How do you, you, don't even, you don't even know where, where it was. How, how do you know you've no, been there? No, I gassed up there. It's across the border. I had, I had to go oh, to so West you're Virginia. Saying, there was you're a, saying, 
I, I'm I'm heir to the the, the gas station. I will concession. be honest with you because you're asking, and I some of this is because of you because you sent me out on the Maryland Crab Cake tour a couple years ago. Maryland Lottery response. We went all these places, and there was a back. Royal Farms across the border in West Virginia that I went in to get gas because I was in the middle of nowhere. I was out there fishing with Dan Rodericks in the middle of like no place. So D A U give me this again. D A U D O U B S Daubs. Daubs. D- I don't D- even know how to say it. It looks like it's missing an E. It should have a silent E. Uh, it is, you know where it is? It's it's in a great place. It's near Bucky's Town, which is just south of Frederick. There, Daubs is like very, very close to a place uh, that's a beautiful vineyard. It's called Big Cork Vineyard. My friend owns it out there. Go out there, get some wine. He has I've concerts on the lawn. That did you have? You have essentially been walking distance from Dalbs is where shut you've been. the front door no Seriously. it's true man it's right near Bucky's down near Poolsville uh right wow. on 28 yep yeah, right right there um it's it's really really close to uh the the West Virginia border that we just spoke of so yes yes wow wow true. wow so Lisa Keeney congratulations almost uh, near Charlestown which is not too far from Martin's Bill, <laughs> wherever it was. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I, I'm not aware if Lisa's made a determination because she has the option to attend the 2026 winter games in Milan or the 2028 summer games in Los Angeles. So she has that decision to make, and we wish her well in that uh, decision. And by the way, I did go to Martinsburg. I got it right here on the map. It's right. It's not too far from where we're talking about, but it's right by Antietam. So it was my Antietam day where we were antiquing and learning about just, I don't know if you know the history of Antietam, but. Oh, we, we, we did the same trip. And I tell you, if, if you're listening to us now, first of all, bless you. But secondly, if you're listening to us now uh, and you've not been to Antietam, what are you wow. waiting for? Wow. It, yeah. It's a wow place. It really yep. is. Yep. There's so much of that. And that's. Part of my pimp in the Maryland lot. It's part of the reason I'm doing the oyster tour because I'm going to be going back to some of these places. Now, I don't know that I'm getting the best oysters in Antietam, right? So, I mean, there's some places in Southern Maryland. I don't think that goes together. You know, I, I dare say that's the first time that set those words have ever been put together in a sentence. Yeah, you don't sort of go west of like Bowie to get an, I, I don't think. But I'm going to learn, and this is part of the Maryland oyster tour, which I'm doing in September in conjunction. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is a good time to ask you, John Martin, because. Oh, Last year you had this big anniversary, and we talk so much about anniversary yes. and branding and all that cool stuff. I turn 26 next week on August 3rd, so I, do I get rid of the cupcake? Is it time for it to go? What do I do? I th- I think you have a ceremonial goodbye. You know, give it its due, but it is time to retire the cupcake. Well, this plays right into – the oyster tour and all, because we're doing it for 26 days. We're doing 26 oysters. We're involving the governor. We're involving a lot of different people. We're doing two different oyster events that month. But, but more than that, I'm getting back to, to how great a state this is, you know? And we talk a lot about the lottery and representing Maryland and all this stuff. But I, I am telling you what, I've been to these towns, all of these little places. We have such a beautiful state. And if there's anything, I would say staycation for people in Maryland in the month of August specifically, because it's just beautiful to drive the state because everything's so lush. But I think September will be nice as well. So I'm going to get to some cool places and learn some more things like Antietam, which is awesome. Yeah, very much, very much so. You know what else is awesome? Go we ahead. have new games and players love I don't know about new games. These. Hold on. You teaching me something? Well, no, I, new new scratch offs. Not that they're new games, but just what am I going to be giving away in the fall? Well, Tell it's me. possible. What one option could be our new dollar ticket called Lucky Thirteen. It's a one dollar ticket, uh, up to six chances to win. Top prize of one thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars. One whoa, three whoa. one three. Thirteens aren't lucky. We know this, right? Well, they are at the Maryland Lottery. Have you ever been in a hotel that has a thirteenth floor? I, I only stay in hotels that have four floors. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just – so lucky 13. All right. That's that's a new one for me. All right. That's it good. is. It is. Well, we 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 expect the unexpected from Maryland Lottery. So right, lucky 13, you. top that's prize, 13-13. At the $5 level, Joker's Wild, uh, top prize, $50,000. Um, also at $5, Gold Bar Bingo. Also, top prize of fifty thousand dollars. You can get all the details at mdlottery.com. Ten dollar price point. Money rush. Twenty two chances to win. Top prize of one hundred thousand dollars. 
and the uh, big dog in this uh, this uh, uh, episode of, of New Scratch Off, Millionaire's Club, $20 price point, top prize, $1 million. So you can then find all of those at the 4,300 plus retailers around the state. All New Scratch Offs uh, rolled them out this week. So uh, plenty of top prizes yet to be won, as well as uh, prizes on our Fast Play games. We launched Fast Play new series of games earlier this month one dollar burger box top prize five hundred dollars five dollar the game of life top price seventy five thousand dollars ten dollar fat wallet with a progressive jackpot right now over one hundred thousand dollars and a thirty dollar gold rush progressive part of our gold rush family another progressive jackpot and as we speak well over seven hundred thousand dollars top prize all the details mdlottery.com and every one of those is in the machine over at costas um right by the little cage i'm going over to get some crabs this week so i'll check them all out they're all colorful and stuff but you got me thinking with this i just said 13 and you give me 13 i'm thinking 13 is a number you can play in cash pop now right so i'm trying to learn this nice I'm, is there a stigma against 13 i'm wondering because you know that's why it's weird like would I play 13 if I could? Why wouldn't I? Is it a weird number? Is 13 really anybody's lucky number? I I bet there's some stigma against a number like that in a game well, like Cash Pop. You know, I don't I think about I mean, 13's in, in baseball lore. Um, Danny Machado's and, coming to town this weekend. Watch out. Okay. I mean, you go back over, over Russ, Vern Fuller for the Cleveland Indians back in the late 60s, war number 13. There's something you can share with your family and friends. Well, I went through this with the Yankees people last month. All the single digits are taken, so they have to take weird numbers as it is. John Martin is here. Sometimes it's weird numbers, and sometimes it's like your zip code and five digit, you know, and it just hits. Your number hits, as Miss Edie would say down the street. Uh, and if uh, you know, when it is, uh, you, you win big, you go to MD Lottery. Make sure you're downloading the app first things first especially if i'm giving you a gold rush sevens doubler uh a couple weeks from now over at state fair uh where i'm wearing my state in catonsville catonsville if you're pronouncing it wrong uh on the 13th of august we'll be over there doing that and make sure that you're uh you're getting into the second chance but i always tell people that and oh and the other thing i tell do this responsibly i mean come on we got sports wagering out there we got baseball games every night everybody calm down if you need some help we can get you some help as well we talk about that a lot around here and we always make sure we throw that caveat in john did we hit everything here i mean i know it's summertime you got folks out there spinning wheels and doing all sorts of things but um but it's the calm before the football storm once the kids go back to school we know things heat up around here right it is we will be uh, you can find the uh, the md lottery team at the o's pods game on july 27th we will be at oriole park at camden yards but then the the clock turns to august and we uh we strap on the helmet and the shoulder pads and we'll be at uh, a couple of the uh what'd you call them before not preseason games you called them something else uh, it's called fake fake football is what fake i've football. called them for a long, long okay. time yeah we i got that be... from john stebman so it's legitimate Okay, well, we uh, we have the uh, um, Ravens and the Eagles on August 9th, uh, and then uh, the Ravens Falcons. and the Falcons mm -hmm. on the 17th. Uh, in between there, we're going to be at the Maiden Maryland Festival, uh, which is at Kurtz Beach in Pasadena. Uh, so that'll be coming up on our, our calendar. Again, you can find all the events at mdlottery.com. And then September, they'll play for real, and we'll have a whole different conversation. Well, I would say even with fake football, just to give the Ravens a nod and be nice, it's, it's, it's fun to go down. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I preseason, it's a little bit of a festival atmosphere. It's just not the greatest version of the sport that we've seen. But but we are looking forward to the Kansas City game. Uh, we're ramping up for that. Luke is out in Owings Mills, keeping us abreast of everything. We had a long conversation about Marlon Humphrey this week. Obviously, Derrick Henry, the new influence, trying to get Lamar back on the field after being sick. So we're covering all that, as well as all the home runs being hit, all the baseball being played, all the home run riches being rich. Uh, I hope that... Uh, and you do know, John, as much as because you're a Guardians guy, you know, I've got like a Padre soul, right? There's a whole chapter yes. in my life book about my aunt out in San Diego, my aunt Jane and Tony Gwynn and all. We actually played the Tony Gwynn interview uh, that I did at Sporting News Radio, the hour long sit down at the end of his career last week during All-Star Week. So you can find that out at Baltimore Positive, too. So 
But this is an important week, and the Orioles need this more. So death to the Padres and my good friend Fred Yulman. No soup for you all weekend. Three wins for the Orioles this weekend, uh, as well as uh, some lottery tickets being given away as well. Uh, John Martin is here. He is always there. He is the executive director of all things Maryland Lottery and Gaming out on the front of Baltimore Positive. I'm making you laugh. Did I make you laugh? Yeah, a little chuckle. Yeah, I did have a little chuckle there. I saw Julia Louis-Dreyfus as a little girl in an Orioles hat earlier today, so it just gave me a whole, like, just – at a Seinfeld moment. I am Nestor. We are WNST. Hey, it's a better than an animal, animal house moment. I've had those two. Uh, BaltimorePositive.com. A lot of movies being dropped here this week. It's crazy.